where a lot of parents wanted their children to be the next Shirley Temple, and mine were the same. Oh, the night described. Who you gonna meet, Bill? Have you bought the street, Bill? Love, 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 and so we fulfilled their dreams. And I'm sort of a, a prayer answered for my mom because she wanted to be in show business. Her dream was to have a child that would grow up and make the world happy and be in show business. There was a I was in a situation where there was my mother and my brother and myself with no money coming from dad. So I was the breadwinner, even though my mother was paid a salary as my guardian. That was a pressure situation. And it came clear to me, very, you know, as soon as I said at one point, Mom, do I really have to do this? I don't want to do this. We have to. We have no choice. Morning, Mr. Keith. Morning, Jackie. For the most part, it was work. Fun now and then was an experience that ordinarily we might not have had. There might have been horses on the set or a, a cow or a goat. What a lot of kids enjoyed, and, and me included, 8, 9, 10, 12 years old, it got you out of school. 2D was fun because I could do a lot of the things I maybe wouldn't normally do myself. I hate you, Mr. Bronco. And she was really kind of bratty and mischievous, and uh, so I loved playing Tootie. Mr. Neely, it's right. In Meet Me in St. Louis, I had lost my two front teeth, so they had a little bridge made by a dentist, and I'd have to put in these false teeth. And I was so mad because during one of the crying scenes, I thought it was my best. I was really crying, and my false teeth flew across the room and sort of hit Judy Garland in the arm. I didn't feel like crying one day, you know. So the director said, take the dog, go behind the truck there, please. And just just get the, get the uh, security man, just shoot him and he'll be quiet. And I said, no, 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 no. And I heard the gun go off and I started to cry. I couldn't stop. Then when the scene was over, he said, bring the dog, bring the dog. He said, we were only kidding. We were only kidding. We just wanted you to cry. Well, Luana Patton told me that the director waited till everything was ready and then came in and said, Luana, your dog just died. So I remember them squirting that glycerin in my eyes to make me cry, and they used to do that with Dean, and Dean used to think, walk, you know, walk away from the camera and go pinch himself. He used to hurt himself to get, him, you know, get himself to cry. It seemed from the beginning they always considered me doing kind of serious stuff or dramatic stuff, and I hated the cry. Who wants to cry? Happy birthday to Margaret O'Brien. See her in five films on Wednesday, starting with Lost Angel at 6 a.m. Eastern on Turner Classic Movies.